welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be super quick. Um, I am going on a trip this weekend because my sister-in-law is getting married and I thought it would be kind of fun um, just to take a look inside my makeup travel bag and see what I'm taking with me. So let's get started. Okay, really quickly. Um, my makeup bag is uh, from Vera Bradley. It was a gift. I think this is the pattern Plum Petals if any of you are interested. Um, inside, just kind of zips open all the way around and you can open it like so. I'm gonna use the back of my couch as a table since I do not have a table and it's kind of floppy. In this top part, I keep all of my makeup brushes and a couple of body pins a sharpener for eyeshadow and my tweezer. Tweezers, tweezer, tweezers. Um, I use these little eco tool brushes. These are my normal everyday brushes anyway because I don't have a lot of space in my cabinet so I don't keep really big brushes for my makeup in general. So it's really easy to travel with these. I think they are the travel size ones but I bought them to be small just because. Um, so I have my concealer brush, um, just a kabuki brushing buffing brush. Um, this one's kind of a domed brush. I use it for bronzer. And then I have this angled one um, for my blush. Please excuse the sirens. Um, and then I have just some of my eye brushes. I have three brushes for eyeshadow. Normally I just use my fingers for eyeshadow, but sometimes I'll use a brush and because I'm traveling, I just take them with me just because. So I have these aren't anything special. These ones are just from Sephora, and I honestly have had this one for so long that I don't even remember where it's from. It says it has, it says it's what, Face Secrets Eye Contour? I don't know if that's even a brand. I've had this for, like, since I was, like, 13. Like, a really long time. I should probably throw it away. I just haven't yet. Um, but these two are from Sephora. I have just an angled brush for, an angled brush for blending. This one for putting on the base color, and then this one for contouring and doing crease work. Um, and then I have this one for my eyebrows, just a little angled brush. And then this teeny tiny one I use sometimes. I'm generally not a fan of eyeliner. I don't really use it very often, but most of the time when I do, I don't actually even use a real eyeliner. I use powder that's dark, and I just put it around my eyes. So that's what I use that one for. All right, and then last two brushes. In the top of that, I have my Bare Minerals Max Coverage Concealer Concealer Brush, and I have just a really cheap um, eyebrow comb. Uh, it's from Elf Professional. So I really like this one. I think this thing is like a dollar. Mine has dust in it. That's gross. Um, but yeah, so I use this for my brows, of course, as well. Now we're going to get into the bulk of my makeup, um, and I, <laughs> this has little pockets, if you can see, all the way around, and then one big center section, so I kind of went ahead and just placed everything in the order that I use it. Um, I do start off with my Bare Minerals Primetime Primer. This is the original primer. Um, I just brought this whole big bottle with me. It says it's supposed to be two fluid ounces, which is still underneath what, what like the restriction that TSA has anyway. This thing is almost empty though, so there's like barely like even a half an ounce in here. Because um, I use it almost every day. So I'm bringing my primer with me, and then I have my L'Oreal True Match um, Super Blendable Makeup in Nude Beige. It's W3. So I'm bringing this and a makeup sponge with me. I have been on the hunt for a beauty blender that is not actually the beauty blender because I'm not spending $20 on a sponge. Um, and I think I finally found one, but none of my local Hawaii stores carry it. So when I'm on the mainland this weekend, I will hopefully be picking up a beauty sponge and I will have another video on that if it all works out. Cross your fingers because I really, really, really want this one and I don't want to have to pay like just as much as it costs in shipping. And then I have my concealers. Um, my two concealers, this one I don't really use as a concealer, I use it as an under eye highlight. It is the Maybelline New York Fit Me Concealer in Fair. Um, and I use this underneath my eyes, I kind of do it in a triangle shape. And then I also use it sometimes just right here down my nose and just in that area, just to kind of brighten everything up. Um, my other favorite concealer that's really nice, <laughs> you can hear my little boy in the background. <laughs> Um, it's the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer. I've heard that this is a dupe for the Makeup Forever um, concealer, 
but I haven't really used that one. I don't know if that's true or not. I will try and investigate and do a video of that in the future. Um, but I like to use this one because this will cover almost anything. It covers really well. Um, I do find that it wears off after a while, but it's a small tube, so it's easy to take with me. And then I got this sample of MAC NC20 Studio Finish Concealer, um, and it's like almost completely gone. It's just a little sample of it. But I'm taking it with me because I like to use that and my concealer brush and use it for my under eye bags because my under eye bags are really prominent. I'm super self-conscious about them. They're really dark and I hate them. Um, so I try and use this and the little tip that uh, Goss makeup artist um, that he has on his channel about just covering the little shadow of the bag and not the whole bag. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I actually did not do it today. But for pictures, for the wedding and everything, I'm planning on doing it. So I'm bringing this with me, and I like it because it's super teeny tiny, and I'm glad it's a sample size. All right, next thing I'm taking with me is my Bare Minerals Concealer. This is Well Rested. Um, it's the powder concealer, and I use this after I've done my under eye, hi under eye highlight. Um, I'll just go ahead and conceal here just to kind of set everything. Um, and then sometimes I'll do my forehead and those other little areas that I highlighted on my face. Um, I don't use this all over. I don't use it as a concealer to cover blemishes. I just use it to set my highlighting that I've done. All right, and then this is my bronzer. It is my current bronzer, but it is not my favorite bronzer. I do not have a favorite bronzer right now. I used the Benefit Hoola bronzer a while ago, and I really, really liked it, but it's super expensive, and I can't afford to be buying Hoola all the time. Um, so NYC is a very nice alternative price-wise, but I'm not in love with the color. I think it makes me look kind of muddy. Quite frankly, I think I look muddy right now, and it's because I have this on my face. So if I do look muddy, it's because of this, but it's the only bronzer I have, so I'm bringing it with me, because otherwise I'm crazy pale looking. Um, this one is in the color 720A, uh, called Sunny, and it's the Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder. Um, it just comes in a little compact like this, has a little mirror, kind of convenient. This is um, my favorite, favorite blush. My favorite blush. It is the Bare Minerals Ready Blush in the color The Natural High. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous blush. I use this every single day. It's kind of, it's like peachy and rosy and has, it looks like it has gold shimmer in it, but like on the face, it just looks like you're glowing. I love this. I love, 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 love it. My favorite blush ever. All right, and then this is my Bare Minerals Mineral Veil Face Powder. Um, I have the original Mineral Veil in SPF 25, um, and I just, I love this. I feel like it kind of just, it sets everything, it helps it to last all day, uh, and it makes me feel not quite as oily because I have quite an oily complexion, um, but this really helps to make me more matte without making me look like gross. You know what I mean? Because there's a difference between like looking dewy and beautiful and really oily, and then there's a difference between looking matte and looking like like you're just fake, you know what I mean? And I like that in between. So I think this does a really good job. So I'm taking that with me as well. Um, then in here, uh, I have a lot of Bare Minerals stuff. They're one of my favorites. So this is my Bare Minerals 5-in-1 BB Advanced Performance Cream Eyeshadow. The color is Soft Shell. It's just this really beautiful, kind of like soft pink color. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, but it blends beautifully. I use it as a base for my eyeshadow, but I also wear it alone on days that I just want to have a really clean, natural look, um, and I really love it. It does blend out and has just a slight shimmer to it, um, but it's not really glittery, if that makes sense. So I don't find it obnoxious. It's just really pretty when you wear it. Um, and then I have my NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder. This is in the color um, 5, which is brunette. Um, and I really like this. I use it with my, um, that little angled brush that I showed you before. I don't use the brushes that are in here. I used to, but I just felt like they were gross. So, uh, I have better application with that other brush. Um, I have pretty thick brows, but ever since I started filling them in, um, I don't know. I just kind of like the finish look a little bit better. I don't do it to make them thicker or darker. I just have a couple of sparse areas just right through here and at the front. I just like to make them look a little bit more bold. I like my bold brows. I like to try and rock them. They're not perfect, but they're mine and I own them. So um, this is the brow powder that I use every day. All right, and then that takes us all the way around it. 
Um, let me take my primer out. I have put in a couple of these 3D Crest white strips. Um, these I'm doing a review video on. I just started using them, so in a couple days after I see some results, I'll go ahead and film that, and that'll be posted. So keep an eye out for that. Um, but then the eyeshadows that I'm bringing with me are these three palettes. They are all um, Urban Decay because I love Urban Decay. I have my Naked on the Run palette, which I have a video all about. Um, you can go back to my channel and see that. I will also link it down below. Um, and then I'm also taking my two Urban Decay Naked Basics palettes. I have the Basics 1 and the Basics 2. I love these. Um, the reason I'm bringing both of these is because inside this palette, like I said, you can go watch my whole review video on it, but inside this palette has beautiful shimmery shades. Um, these two palettes are both just matte. So these have beautiful shimmery um, eyeshadow shades, a highlight. I love this lip gloss. I love, love, love this mascara. I raved about it in the video. You can go watch that, like I said. Um, but so then I don't have to worry about taking a mascara, an eyeliner, or another lip gloss. I have everything just right here. And it has a huge mirror, too, so it takes care of me having to take a mirror with me. Awesome. Um, and then these two are just both kind of warm and cool tones of neutrals. And I love them because I can pretty much make any any outfit work. You know, for the fancier occasion, for the actual day of the wedding, when I'm a bridesmaid, I will probably use the shimmery shades. Oh dear, I'm dropping everything. Um, just to be a little bit more fancy. But on the other days, I generally... Now my primer fell behind the couch. And now a car alarm is going off. This is fantastic. Um, I generally use um, just these basics. Um, just for my everyday normal wear. I don't really feel like I need to do it up on a regular basis. I really like these. They make me look natural, but still I feel pretty and made up. So I really like them. So I'm taking both of those with me. And because they're compact, they travel really well. And then the last two things in here, put that back. Last two things in here, I have a retractable lip liner from NYX in the color Nude. This is just a really pretty kind of pinky nude. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. But it's kind of a pinky nude. And then I have this Marvelous Moxie lip gloss from Bare Minerals. Um, I got this free for my birthday through their Friends and Benefits program. Um, and it's just this really pretty kind of almost mocha color. Um, and it's got a doe foot applicator. It's just really nice and shimmery um, when you wear it. So these two look really, really nice together. That's why I'm bringing this duo in between this and the um, naked on the run one. I know that I'll be covered for whatever colors I want to go for. Um, so that's it. All right. Well, I told you it was going to be a really quick video. I've been trying to um, just film just before my son woke up. It didn't really work, but luckily my husband was willing to take him in the other room for a while so I could finish. Um, but anyway, this is everything I'm taking makeup wise with me uh, to travel this weekend for my sister-in-law's wedding. Um, I like to keep things as simple as possible and as lightweight as possible, especially now that there are three of us traveling. Uh, just because I am taking enough baby stuff with me, I don't need to be taking a ton of makeup stuff too. Uh, we're only going to be there for a couple days too. And this is pretty much, these are kind of my holy grail products. These are most of my favorites, I the things I use every single day. And luckily all of them are small enough that they will all travel well too. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you'd like to see any other videos kind of along these lines, just comment below or give me a thumbs up and let me know. Um, otherwise, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you all following along. You can also visit me other places on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, or you can visit my blog, Maria Simply Smiling. All of those things will be linked down below. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video and leave me a comment if you'd like. If not, I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone. Makeup bag everywhere. Why my life? Why? Okay. All right.
And then this is my bronzer. This is my current bronzer. It is not my favorite bronzer. I do not have... So loud. Okay. Anyway, 